Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We have super exciting episode for today. Join me guys because I'm going to review one of my very first Louis Vuitton bags that started my luxury bag collection. Hi guys, Ron Ramiro here, Soaking Budget are in Fashionista. My vlog about fashion, shopping, luxury bags and accessories, travel and lifestyle. I am inviting you to join our growing family by subscribing to my YouTube channel. There's a small icon here, so click on that one so you can join our growing family. Hit that notification bell and give me the thumbs up for more videos like this. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you could get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Alright, so I'm very excited to be doing this episode today because I would like to... I have been dying to review this bag for a while now because this um, very first Louis Vuitton bag that I got is the very reason um, why I started collecting luxury bags. Are you guys ready? Let us begin. Alright, so just a little bit story how I got this bag. Um, I did not purchase this from Louis Vuitton. Um, I purchased this pre-love from my best friend. And I kind of actually forgot the year because of course I don't have the receipt with me. Um, let's open first and discuss and have more chit chats after. So here is the dust, uh, dust bag it came with. Um, the paper bag that it also came with is the classic um, old brown paper bag of Louis Vuitton before they changed it to the orange version. So are you ready? Let us open in three, two, one. Chadan! So it has a small one and it also comes with the Yay! So I have two Louis Vuitton bags. I believe the name, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Louis Vuitton um, Papillon bag. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, the material is in black epi leather. Alright, so like what I've mentioned, um, this is the very first Louis Vuitton bag um, that I got. And um, this is what started uh, me collecting luxury bags way, way back. I believe that was around, if I'm not mistaken, 2012, 13, or 14 when I got this bag. Um, my friend, uh, my best friend just texted me one day and asked me if I wanted a Louis Vuitton pre-love bag and I said yes and she delivered this to me um, because when I got this bag just to um, share a little bit story because initially I'm not really a fan of the monogram print or monogram canvas of Louis Vuitton also with the Dame that's a no for me again guys I don't have any issues it's just a personal um, Face. Um, I'm not just a huge fan of those material. That's why when she showed me the um, epi leather, um, I immediately fell in love. That's why I purchased directly from her. And I'm very, very happy that I did. So let's take a closer look. So let's do first maybe the small one, guys, because um, I so love the very small bag that it came with. So just the size comparison. This is the um, accessory that it came with. The focusing sorry there so this is the small one that it came with it came with the very beautiful um, black epi leather as you can see it's very very texture and I'm a huge fan of the epi leather because um, the epi leather you cannot scratch these very easily um, it has a very good structure as you can see with this bag so this is the front so you would see there the logo of epi leather then the side. So for the side, um, it's not epi leather. It's just the um, genuine leather of Louis Vuitton. There. Then the back, the bottom part, and then the top part. So the top part I really, really love because it comes with the gold hardware of Louis Vuitton. It zips very smoothly. Doesn't have any issue. And the lining of this one, guys, is the micro. It's a gray microfiber. 
I'm not sure if you could see that. I'm not sure if it has a date code on this very small one because it's very hard to see what's inside because you cannot open it in, you know, very huge way because I don't want to damage the bag. So the inside is still very good. Um, I love that, you know, the lobster class that it came with. It's very luxurious and still very, very shiny as you could see. And just a comparison, guys, how small this um, baby papillon bag um, is. So here is my very beautiful um, petit sac plat. So this petit sac plat, I did an unboxing. I'm going to link it up here and put it in the description box just in case you haven't seen it. As you can see, there are both um, small leather bags. So this is the front. So if I'm going to put it here, then if I'm going to do it this way as well, then the side, there, and then of course the bottom part. What I love about this bag later, I'm going to show you the styling because this one, the one side of the Papillon bag, the small one, you can detach this one. Just It's like the um, pochette as as well. So it, the, this one is fixed on this side. So it is stitched. You cannot remove this one. But this one, again, with the lobster clasp. So you could remove it and attach it to any of your bags which I have done before so this is just a sample there so this is the small bag that it came with so now let us review the bigger bag all right so this is again um, the big bag um, Papillon I'm checking online and it says the size is 30 so this is the front guys as you would see it comes with the very beautiful um, black epi leather so again like what I've mentioned I'm such a huge fan sorry guys so there it's focused so everything is in epi leather then it comes with this genuine leather um, strips here that supports the entirety of the bag so I'm just covering my face so it would focus more there so this is the front this is the side so as you can see, it's very, very structured. Then the bottom part, guys. Right there. Bottom part. Then the top part. So it also comes with the gold hardware, as you can see here. The Louis Vuitton logo is engraved. And it comes with the very beautiful two top leather handles so they're not rolled so it's just flat leather handles um, so again if you would be purchasing this one it would immediately come with this very cute little accessory together so let me just put them together so you could see how it would look like there so you could carry it like this so it's like your bag would have its very own tiny little cute bag on its own right it's very cute guys what do you think so let's check the inside of the bag. So I'm just removing this one sec, guys. So currently, like what I mentioned, I'm not really sure. There is a date code inside. It's just very difficult to look into. If I could take a photo because I'm also very curious, like what year or how old this bag is. So, so again, I love the zipper. It's very, very smooth. So, um... I would be stuffing it with um, this, you know, um, stuffing that I got online, so I would be able to maintain the structure of this bag because again, this bag is quite old already. So if we're going to see, can you see, guys? The lining is in gray microfiber. So here at the back portion, it comes with the. Can you see? I'm not really sure because it's a little bit dark, but it comes with one. Um, pocket here so it's non zippered um, again the lining is in gray microfiber so on the pocket there you would see um, Louis Vuitton so I'm going to put a photo here because I couldn't show it on the video because it's a little bit dark so it says here oh there I love it so it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France yay so I am just looking guys so because here on one side here I could see that there is like a full tab where in you could put in your um, like hooks of your key clay or 
stuff like that and I believe that is where the date code is. If I could take a photo, then definitely I'm going to show it here. So this is a very beautiful bag. So as you can see guys, um, it's been with me for, if I'm not mistaken, so if let's assume that I got this one 2013. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this would be around 7 to 8 years with me on my collection. Yay! So as you can see, like what I told you, um, Epi Leather is such a very good material for you with the ton. That's why I am such a huge fan. And I am recommending this to you guys. Sorry, it's a little bit hot. So if I'm recommending this to you guys if, for example, you would like to purchase a Louis Vuitton bag. If you are not a fan of the monogram canvas, then definitely I'm highly recommending you go with the Epi Leather because, um, you know, um, like what I mentioned, the pros, you cannot scratch this very easily and it has a very good um, structure with it there. So, if I can, I would be adding mod shots here. The only con of this bag when I purchased this one, it didn't came with the shoulder strap. So, you could only wear this one technically as a tote bag. So, you are going to carry it like this, put it on the crook of your arm. But later, of course, as bag lovers have already come up with our very own hacks, and we can attach easily um, shoulder straps here so you could wear it as a shoulder bag or as, even as a crossbody bag because as you can see guys here with the attachment or where the shoulder strap is attached it comes with this gold um, rings or buckles here that's where normally I would be attaching the shoulder strap so later I'm going to show you guys there all right so um the reason why I also wanted to review this Papillon bag because I'm very very happy that um, I still kept this on my collection because I think maybe a couple of years back I was thinking of um, selling this bag because um, well it's vintage but I just I am just so happy that um, I still kept this on my collection for the main reason that um, as you know right now uh, Louis Vuitton is currently bringing back the Papillon um, style on their newer collections i'm going to post some photos here they have relaunched it with the by the pool collection where they have also made um this tile the papillon with another attachment which is very very cute and they have also launched the newest version from the pre-fall 2021 um the papillon trunk so um, I so love this um, that I kept this because again this bag is on trend and definitely by styling this up with newer bag strap, newer chunky chain strap, it would look more new, it would look more contemporary and again thank you that I got this bag and kept it in my collection. Alright let's do a size comparison so you would have an idea um, how huge this bag is. So again, side by side, this is my the very beautiful um, petite sack flat. You know already the size of the petite sack flat. This is a little bit smaller. So size wise, here it is. The front. So if I'm going to put it here, so it's just you know, barely half of the papillon bag. But then the side. So definitely you would see that the papillon. You would be able to fit a lot of um, your essentials there. Then of course, let me just put it like this. This is the top of the uh, bottom part of the bag. So both bags doesn't come with feet. So you just need to be very careful in placing your bag. So don't just place it anywhere because it may get damaged. Then of course, um, the top part of the bag. There. Sorry, there are tissue on my petite sack flat there. So that is the beautiful size comparison of our two bags. Alright, so let's do what fits inside with these two bags. So normally I would either I would be carrying it on its own, but if I would like to carry it together so that I could bring more. So let's do what fits inside. So as you know guys, the very first test that I would that I am normally doing before I purchase a bag is again if my huge iPhone would fit so this is a 6s plus so here it is of course no problem then of course um, 
my YSL card case there so I don't normally bring huge wallets um, with me anymore so there then of course my oil control film or oil daughter film there actually guys um it could fit my toiletry kit so again it houses my BB cream my BB cream my lip color, my tissue, some of the medicines, even my cologne. So this is my Calvin Klein cologne. So it's just on one toiletry kit. So for example, normally if I would be carrying this bag, so it's, everything is here. So this is just a regular pouch. I could put this inside because it's actually nicer for larger bags like this to have a catch all so it would be or it would be easier for you to you know look um for stuff inside your bag so as you can see you can fit everything here what else so even for example you i have a larger um, vanity case here so this is a pair cardon leather um vanity pouch let, let us try if that would fit so just to show you the size, there. So it actually fits, as you can see. So it's very, very huge. So that's why I sold out this bag, um, the Papillon, um, because it could carry a lot of my essentials and more. All right, so let's do some mod shots on how you could carry um, and some styling ideas your Louis Vuitton on Papillon in black epi leather. So firstly, of course, um, you could style up your bag by carrying them together. So you would see here, I have attached the smaller bag here and look it here on one of the um, buckles here. So this is the first style, style number one. So without the shoulder strap, you could carry it as a handbag. You could put it, you know, at the crook of your arm there. That's style number one. Then, of course, style number two, hack, or hack number two, rather, is if you have um, shoulder straps from any of your Louis Vuitton um, bags or other straps that you may have purchased. So for um, this example, is I would be using, because again, I am a huge fan right now of chunky chain straps. So this is a chunky gold chain. So definitely we need to use a gold chain strap because the hardware of the Papillon bag is in gold as well. So let us use this one. So like what I mentioned earlier, it's very, very easy to use this one because um, the Papillon bag comes already with the buckles. And it's very, very easy to attach these detachable straps there so as you can see now you have attached it now you could carry it with the chunky chain strap so again styles you could carry this one so by carrying it as a handbag so you are going to see that you know the chain is falling very beautifully as a handbag and then of course i'm going to show some mod shots in a few but you could carry this one as a shoulder bag like this and of course if you have a longer chain then you could carry this one as a shoulder strap there so how do you like that guys how did you like our episode today guys so in conclusion um i would definitely be recommending uh, for you guys to be purchasing this Louis Vuitton Papillon bag in black epi leather. So of course, uh, it's no longer available at LouisVuitton.com because this, this is one of the discontinued style. But you could get this one from many resellers online. So I believe it's still available at Fashion fashion file or other resellers that you can see um, the reason why I am recommending them to you because again they are coming back in styles with the newer Louis Vuitton bags that um, they are coming up with um, the epi leather is very very nice and very very friendly and durable as well as you can see this is with or this is 
with or this is sorry this is on my collection for at least eight years now and as you can see it still looks new it doesn't look aged at all because again if this is a bachata leather this would you know be looking very differently but with the black epi leather as you can see here front side top and back it looks very very good that's why i am highly recommending to get a pre-love of the papillon 30 in black epi leather all right so before we end our vlog episode today let's do comment of the day i would like to say thank you to life with loki Loki, thank you so much for leaving this awesome comment. I love watching your vlog episode. Um, I'm also a new subscriber, so please do stay in touch. And thank you, thank you so much. Alright, so again guys, I'm inviting you to join our growing family. Hit that subscribe button. So again, there's a small icon here so you can join our growing family. Give me the thumbs up and hit that notification bell as well. Also, please do follow me on Instagram.com forward slash Ramirify so you can get daily updates and styling tips coming from me. Again guys, super thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. I would be seeing you on our next vlog episode. Please do stay safe and healthy. I will see you soon. Bye!